Being able to communicate with your opponents or teammates is important when you're jumping into any game with that capability. Now that's why we're taking a look at these gaming headset mics to see which ones provide the best vocal clarity as well as give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the audio. Now, each of these headset options run the gamut of pricing, so no matter what your budget is, there's sure to be a gaming headset on this list that'll give you that clear and clean and crisp sound you might be looking for. In today's episode, we're taking a look at 10 different options focusing on the audio quality of each. Now, let's jump right into it. I'm Akeem, and this is Budget to Best. <laughs> This is the Logitech G435. Now, one thing I'm gonna be doing in this video is switching between each headset's mic to kind of give you a feel for how each sound. So right now you're hearing the audio directly from the mic. Now you're probably wondering where the microphone is on this thing. Well, Logitech opted for something called dual beam forming microphones. Now the dual beam forming mics on the G435 reduces any background noise. So it's perfect if you find yourself in a high traffic area while you're gaming. Now, if you're someone who doesn't like the look of, you know, like a boom mic that most gaming mics have, well, here you go. Now you can wirelessly connect the G435 to your PC, Mac, and PlayStation consoles. Now I gotta say this, uh, listening to myself, it sounds decent enough but I'm having to do some adjustments on OBS to kind of just make sure I'm not getting any digital clipping or peaking. Now this headset can connect via Bluetooth and light speed which is honestly pretty impressive given that this is on the budget side of things at $80. This is the Logitech Pro X wireless headset. All right now we got the Logitech Pro X wireless which uses a cardioid unidirectional pickup pattern for the mic. And the Pro X wireless actually uses Blue Voice software which allows you to add some voice filters, clean up the audio and EQ a bit. Now you can add a limiter, some compression and an expander gate. Essentially, you know, everything you need to kind of get this particular mic to sound as good as you'd like it. Now the Blue Voice software is, it's a, it's a great novel idea, but if you're so Someone like me who kind of projects a lot, uh, you'll find yourself dealing with some clipping and trying your best to find that happy medium to where you're able to bring out more warm audio tones and less of that compression, which makes it sound like, you know, it's FM AM radio. But still at 230 bucks, this is one of Logitech's best sellers in its pro series of gaming headsets. This is the Turtle Beach Stealth 700. Now the Turtle Beach Stealth 700 has a flip down microphone which limits the positioning just a bit, but you can easily hide the mic when you flip it back up, which also mutes it. Now if you really wanna maximize your audio output with the Stealth 700, you'll need to download the Turtle Beats Audio Hub, which lets you switch between various audio presets or create custom ones. Now much like the other headset mics we've mentioned already, you'll really need to do some EQing to get that tonal sweet spot for those with more discerning audio tastes. This is the Steel Series Arctis Nova 7. Now, the Steel Series Arctis Nova 7 uses something called Sonar Clearcast AI algorithms to cancel out surrounding noise. Now, that sounds really cool, but listen to how I actually sound. Now, for me personally, it's far too tinny, which you can clean up in Steel Series Sonar Software Suite. Now, you can tweak the audio and EQ in that software, but outside of doing that while on PC, you won't see those same benefits on console. So, what you're hearing right now is what you'll get straight out of the box. This is the Sony Pulse 3D. Now the Sony Pulse 3D is another gaming headset that is on the list that has hidden mics. Now they're dual noise canceling microphones. Now with these, you kind of have that distant, almost echoey sound to them. It almost sounds like I'm far away from the mic as if I'm moving away from the mic to breathe. That's a chocolate rain reference in case y'all fell asleep. Anyways, as well as using these on the PlayStation 4 and 5 consoles, you can PC game with these as well. This is the Xbox wireless headset. Now the Xbox wireless headset has voice isolation, which helps reduce background noise and it auto mutes when you're not talking. Now you can also jump into the Xbox accessories app to fine tune the audio controls a bit more, mess around with some of the bass levels and sensitivity. Now the mic on the Xbox wireless headset doesn't stand out, but it does get the job done as far as providing decent comms. 
this is the HyperX Cloud Alpha wireless headset. Now the HyperX Cloud Alpha wireless headset gives you a detachable mic with noise cancellation and you get an LED indicator for when you're muted. And it's compatible with the Ingenuity software so you can further customize your audio options and do some more EQing. This is the Corsair HS80 headset. The Corsair HS80 has an omnidirectional mic, flip up feature to mute with an indicator, and along with being PC compatible, is also PS4 and PS5 compatible. And much like the other headsets we've mentioned, you can take full advantage of how you sound by using software. This one uses the Corsair IQ software where you can tweak and customize your audio profile. Now, I've listened to the playback of my audio with this one, and honestly, it sounds amazing. This is how I sound without tweaking anything using IQ, just straight out of the box using OBS. Now it sounds great to me. Now I love this one, only downside is there's no Bluetooth, only wireless connectivity. But for $150, the Corsair HS80 is a solid choice. The Mod Mic series of clip-on mics is ideal for anyone who already has a pair of regular headphones they're already using and just want the freedom a gaming headset's onboard mic provides you with. Now we've got two here, the USB and wireless versions. Now the Mod Mic USB has dual mic modes giving you the ability to switch between an omnidirectional and noise canceling unidirectional mic option. Now you've got a mute switch and with the provided adhesive the mic can clasp onto any headset using its magnetic clasp. As for the sound, I noticed there's a lot more bass in the unidirectional mode, which is typical for unidirectional mics since you know it's in close proximity. Now, audio sounds a bit more quiet in Omni. Now, this all applies to the Mod Mic Wireless, which out of the two, uh, I'd recommend opting for the wireless version as the mic quality has a richer broadcast quality to it. And you also don't have to be tethered to a wire. Both are definitely solid choices with the aptX audio technology slightly edging out its USB counterpart for me. That's on the premium side though, currently sitting at $139.95 on Antilion's audio website, though with the USB version at $84.95. Now, both are operable on PS4, PC, and Mac. Pretty much the best option for those who already got the sound quality figured out with a great pair of headphones who are just looking for premium sound at an affordable price. So there you are. What do you think? If you have any of these, let us know in the comment section. Now, each of these gaming headsets have unique features you can read more about on IGN. Now, we also have a series of videos on the best gaming headsets for each console. As for me, out of these, uh, the Corsair HS80 is definitely my favorite as it's just, you know, an all around solid gaming headset, but I'll let you all be the judge.